Hello friend and welcome to my tiny studio tour. So this is an overall tour of the layout and decor of my overall studio. In future videos, I'll be showing you detailed organization systems of each room. Besides the front door, this is the only other door in my tiny studio. And this door leads to the bathroom, which is also my laundry room. So right now for the bathroom, on this side of the bathroom, right behind the door, I have my laundry products. They also contain backup toilet paper as well as this bin which contains trash can liners. Across from the laundry shelf is my mini washing machine. I'll be showing you my laundry routine in my tiny studio in a future video. And here we are in my office, which is actually bigger than the office I used to have. In this office, we combine supplies for both me and my daughter. I have all of my labeling supplies in my desk, including my Cricut machine back here, and printer, and I actually have a label maker in the drawer, and a laminating machine in the drawer as well. And then my daughter's art supplies are contained in these cabinets along with the boxes. And right on this wall right here, across from this hutch, is my daughter's easel. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw how we store her easel on a hook on the wall. in my tiny living room. If you're interested in anything you see in this video, I will have them linked in the description box below. Also below you will find the link to my freebie library where you can have access to tons of free resources to help you get your spaces and your finances in order.
purchased this coffee table. I thought it was so cool that it was on a large Lazy Susan. I mean... But sometimes the Lazy Susan isn't so great. Now here we are in my tiny kitchen. It looks a little deceivingly big because of this wall right here. You'd think it's a U-shaped kitchen um, with storage all around, but there is no storage on this wall. I actually created storage for a cleaning closet right here, which I'm super excited to show you in the next video because it's my favorite organized space in my whole place. And this cleaning closet actually became an excellent solution to make this awkwardly placed refrigerator look like it belonged. As you can see in the before, the refrigerator is in the worst spot ever. <laughs> it just looked so set apart and out of place. And there was no turning it. There is a slant in the floor so there was no way we could actually turn the fridge. If we did, the fridge would have rolled into the couch. Um, even if the floor was flat, the fridge was much is much wider than it is deep, so it would just be jutting out into the living room anyways. So to make it look like less, to make it look less set apart and more built in, um, I added this cleaning closet, which is the perfect depth to cover that empty nook next to the fridge. And then to make it look more built in, because it was so much taller than the fridge, I got a piece of wood from Home Depot and asked the staff to actually cut the piece of wood for me and I got some L brackets, screwed them together and now the fridge actually looks like it's built in and belongs here. And for the rest of the kitchen, these counters were really beat up. They look like they were used as a cutting board. They were really worn down and the easy solution was to cover them in contact paper which I actually got from Walmart. And then I uh, painted the handles in a brass color to um, update the look even more. And for less than $20, I had a new kitchen. bedroom which is right behind the living room and it is divided by this room divider from House Plus World Market. This divider is much needed to keep my pillows from falling into the TV or the TV from falling onto me. And then right across from my bed is my closet. As you can see we did not I did not have a closet here so I had to create one and it worked out perfectly that I just ended up using a portable closet that you could get at Walmart and I just left the cover off. It just ended up being the perfect solution to creating a wardrobe where there was no wardrobe.
Now here we are in what my daughter and I like to call her nook. This place is so tiny, we at first thought we were just going to use it as a closet and possibly have a convertible sofa to turn into a bed, to another bed instead. But it worked out perfectly for us to fit, for her to fit a twin size bed and a nightstand in here. And within her nook, there's another nook that perfectly fits this vanity. I think of all the spaces in our studio, this is the cutest. Or maybe the living room, I don't know. What do you think? Comment below. In my next video, I'll be sharing with you how I created and organized the ultimate cleaning closet, which I thought was appropriate because of the times right now where we are wanting to make sure everything is clean and sanitized. So be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss that. You subscribing, liking, and commenting on my video helps my video to um, move up in the algorithm so that other people can find it. And again, if you are interested in any of the items you've seen in this video, everything will be linked for you in the description box below. And also, you will find there my freebie library where you can have access to lots of organizing and financial resources to help you get your spaces and your finances in order. Until my next video, happy organizing!